my gosh, it's the doing? Turbo Wallet guy. Yes, it is. I got a new is wallet. Mike? I have a new wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh my gosh, this is so great. It's th it's too thick. Last yeah. time I met him, I had a wallet <laughs> that I have had for like 10, 15 years, and it was actually. Yes! Hey, I love that hoodie, by the way. I know, right? We met. Nice. You want to get in the camera on this one? It's like, I love this hoodie. Nice. All right. So can we just talk about anything? Yeah, the last time we were doing this, we couldn't find something that we disagreed on. Uh, yeah, because we talked about uh, free will. Or no, we talked about... We talked about morality and free will. I posted morality. that video, by the way. It did pretty good. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. <laughs> I might have commented on it. Uh, I, I see you post on Reddit sometimes. Yeah, so how about this? Um, uh, love what you're doing. Good sorry. Stuff. Are we packing up? No, no, no. There's, there's half that tail up there. Oh my gosh, I had no idea there were paddling. My bad. My bad. Sorry, man. Oh, sorry. Sorry. thanks for letting me know. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something I'd like for you to see me. Oh, is that cool? Try that. Right. We can try that. Ooh, there's a lot of pressure. Don't forget to introduce yourself. Alright. Um, I'm Michael Stewart. I'm Assistant State Director of American Atheist. And you actually have a good wallet now. My name is Ty. Nice wallet. to meet you. I, I made fun of your wallet, and now you changed for the better. I feel like I'm improving the world slightly. Amazing. Just a little bit better. My belief is that the root of all morality is selfishness. Okay. Like, there's literally nothing you can do that's moral that's not based on being selfish. And I think selfishness is actually a, a cornerstone of morality. You need to be so, selfish. Okay, to be so, more. how sure of this are you? I'm. Ooh, that's that's a good question. I'd say ninety nine percent. I'm as confident as that as you sitting in front of me. Sure. Yeah. Um. So what's I guess I guess a good question to start as what convinces you of this? I don't think there's anything as an altruistic action. I think everything that we do for moral is based on our well being, which benefits us or benefits me. And when I do something that I want other people to do in the general sense. I'm only acting in accord of what will benefit us as a society or the society that I'm in, which ultimately benefits me. Every good thing I do ultimately is either a benefit to me or helps other people ultimately benefit me. Now, you might say, like, selfishness. Doesn't that mean, like, stealing? No, because if I steal, I'll get arrested. Or if I drive too fast, I might get stopped by a cop or sent to jail. That doesn't benefit me. So what benefits sure. me is following the laws pay my taxes, being a good member to society, because all of that lets other people do the exact same thing, and it's a good code for us to all follow, and it ultimately benefits me to live in a society like that. So, when we talk about altruism doesn't really exist, uh, when I see altruistic acts, I mean, I, I, I see the thing, the problem is I agree that you can get to altruism solely based on selfish uh, motivation, Yeah. Uh, but I still see that as altruism is still altruism regardless of the motivation I'm fine with that but if it benefits me I, give me an example of something that's altruistic that doesn't benefit me um, if you're see that's the thing like I don't I don't disagree with this this is a, this is a hard thing for are me we to, already agreeing with each other on I this? think we might be ooh dang it um, we have the same brain it's not fun we don't have the same brain we don't have the same brain that's impossible it is impossible <laughs> I agree dang it I think we have a lot of the same philosophical tendencies. Kanye here. West is one of the greatest minds in pop music of all time. I will disagree with that for you all time. You want to do that real quick? We can do that. All right. Kanye West, greatest mind in pop music of all time. All right. Hey, hey, where's my brothers at? Am I the only person by myself here? All right. All right. So here's, here's, so here's the deal. Kanye West is a great music producer. He started off ATL as just, I'm making music for these other guys. He crafts music and levels that people are. He's layering stuff and sampling stuff that people never even listen to. And he's not singing and rapping in it. He's giving it to like Puff Daddy. He's giving it to like uh, Khan. He's giving it to Usher. And those guys are taking his stuff and turning it to big hits. And he says, no, I'm not going to just be a producer. I'm not just going to be a songwriter. I'm actually going to sing this myself. My rap, my tone, my, my temper might be not as good as everybody else, but it's my music and I'm going to sing it and he put out some really hit albums for like the first from like 2003 up to like 2007 then he says I'm going to build into the character of Kanye West where I'm just going to be so outrageous that you're going to want to hate me but that's not really who I am and the fact that people know him as this notorious person is just more into the propaganda that he set himself up to do not it's one thing to be famous, it's another thing to be infamous. And he's crafted himself from just talented guy to burgeoning, inspiring artist to a character of pop that is like, no one else is doing so, this. So, when I, when I, 
there's a couple different artists that come to, come to mind when you describe Kanye sure. West in this light. Sure. Uh, uh, artists like Lady Gaga, exactly Marilyn like Manson. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is exactly. She, so Lady Gaga is a really brilliant piano pianist. Okay. She can sing operatically. She has great octaves, but she makes pop music because she knows that's what sells. And she's crafts the character. How do you know that? She told says in an interview. Does she? Yeah, she said. Like yeah, she okay. knows her Remember demographic very well, so she plays to that demographic. She bees. She's very flamboyant and boisterous and in very specific areas. So she can sell and cater there to that seems group. To be it's a, a product. There seems to me a lot of variation in, in say, poker face and uh, the shallows. Exactly. There seems to be a wide window. And that's executive meddling. Kanye West is Kanye West. Like, that is him doing that. That is everything he's constructing is him. And you can tell how by how meticulously he's constructed his personality. Like, when he does um album for Pedro, like the yeah. soliloquy for Pedro. Like, there are songs in there that's like, why is this even a song in here? Because it's what Kanye West, the character, would make as a song. It's just like static and like words said on backwards. It's terrible. But it's what that character would make. We're looking at basically fake wrestling as if like The Rock came out with an album. It's like, I'm The Rock, People's Elbow. Yes. But that's like Dwayne Johnson pretending to be The Rock, making an album. People are like, The Rock is so terrible. It's like, no, that's a guy pretending to be a terrible guy making music. It's no, so no, okay, brilliant. So I get that. But so, do you think. Uh, uh, Kanye has said a lot of weird things. He has said a lot of weird things. Uh, I am a, I'm a proud non reader of books. <laughs> uh, it's so great. <laughs> Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that a good thing? Like I, it's, it's to me not, that's a bizarre statement that 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 kind of tears on. I, I get it. It's the Kanye mm, brand of right. crazy. So like, if but we, as a musician sure. and as someone who has respect for myself, I could never find myself saying something as outrageous to a public. To public, <laughs> I agree. I, I, again, I said his persona is someone who's trying to say something that seems So you ridiculous. think that's just the Kanye it character? Is. So, like, for example, TMZ followed Kanye to Europe. Uh, he was going to pick up his kids in uh, uh, some babysitter's place, nanny's place in London. Like, the British TMZ are way more polite than the American TMZ. And they were like, they didn't even recognize Kanye. It's like, are you Kanye West? He's like, oh, yes, man. Who are you? And they had, like, a really, really nice back and forth where he dropped the persona completely. And he's talking to you as if I was talking to you. Okay. I'm like, this guy is not the guy who he's pretending to be when he's doing the American news. So you think it's all Kanye that. is a character. It's like Hulk Hogan, the character, versus whatever his actual name is. Because his real name is not Hulk Hogan. It's um, all part of this character one, is to be as outrageous as possible. Yes, it's all as one. Much to get, as it's, much attention as possible. It's a single man's PR campaign to stay relevant. And it's so hard to stay relevant when there's so many rappers. But he's sure. doing it and producing music that's still... Hey man, that's pretty good music. Like some of those tracks are still pretty good. Not all of them. Yeah. And some of those tracks are like, yeah. huh, that's pretty good. Sure. I'm just saying. And he's a family man. Well married. Did not divorce. Like he's he's good family yeah. values. Pays his taxes. He's already better than the Pope. <laughs> like I'm just saying. Like if you want like a good role model of like this is how you handle your own business and empire, you would do it the Kanye West way. His sessions are free. When you go to uh, Atlanta, he does block parties that you'll get trapped in. Free. He'll he'll play in Peachtree Street and he'll and uh, he'll have his friends. He'll have Common there. He'll have uh, Lil Punk. I don't know if you like Lil Punk or if you like Trap. Chance the Rapper will be there too. Sure. Saba will be there. It's insane wow. and it's free. And you're like, why are you so good to us? Because he's just a cool dude. Deep down, he's a cool guy. When he does interviews, he'll say something stupid. Slavery okay. wasn't that bad. He will he will say something really outrageous. Trump is great. Trump is great. I'm going to support him next. Year. Yeah. Whatever it gets, no, no, no. Okay, I, I, but so, I think he's playing a character. I, I think so. Because I, I think at this point, the only point of real disagreements is disagreements, disagreements. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that while this might be a genius move on Kanye to create this crazy character to stay relevant? Yeah. I would want that repertoire as an individual. I wouldn't want to be that person who who says the crazy shit. Who mm. who acts even if it's an act that he supports Trump you're saying he's very brave he's, uh, <laughs> to be the only he's person different doing this. from me I wouldn't do it <laughs> I couldn't do it either that's have... why there's only one Kanye West sure <laughs> <laughs> there was one thing I wanted to do sure uh, I'm not I don't have any practice in doing this <laughs> and you were talking about stuff that 
that's not philosophical. <laughs> I no, uh, all right. <laughs> no, I can do I can do something that's not philosophical. All right, what do you want? So I play video games. Yes. I'm very competitive. Okay. Uh, I think that fighting games, when it comes to video games, is the highest form of competition. God damn it, we agree on everything. <laughs> no, you're right. Smash Brothers Melee? Well, that's, that's, Smash Brothers Melee? Yes. That is a fighting game, according to Evo. <laughs> well, not anymore. So, I don't disagree. So, maybe... They Are you really out. into Smash? I'm really into Smash. <laughs> we can have a disagreement about Smash. Okay. I don't think it belongs in the fighting game community. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't think it belongs in the fighting game. I don't community, think. It, I don't think it's think a part of the fight. I don't think it belongs. I don't think it, it's a part of the fighting game community. We can talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Smash is not a part of the fighting game community. We're gonna. We're trying oh, really Smash. hard to find something we disagree on to actually do an interview about because we've been struggling about this since what June of last year. We've we've talked several times. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Smash is not a part of the fighting game community. Smash is not. Why do you think that? So, when you when you look at the fighting game community, you know the OGs that have been coming up since like Street Fighter Two, the people that have been playing fighting games for as long as fighting games has been a thing. Yep. There's an understanding of who people are. There's a really broad, like Alex Vi is Alex Vi. People sure. know who Daigo is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know who the people are. Oh, yeah. Sonic Fox. Uh, so, Sonic Fox, even yeah. now. Like, everyone fucking knows who Sonic Fox. Everybody oh, knows. I'm sorry, can I swear? You can curse, you can curse. Okay, um... That's not the first Is it not? That's the first one I caught. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh... And you don't see this in Smash, at least not from, not, not from... Not fr so, you don't see this as the, from the Smash community to the, the broader the fighting game community. don't spread out. Yeah, so, like, so like I saw at a... At a Live stream on a, I can't remember what tournament it was. Mm. They there was someone needed they needed a broadcaster for mm. they needed uh, not a broadcaster a uh, what do you call it when the, the guys that talk while the, the game is going you can on? You call it broadcaster. I'm talking Dude, about what, a caster, commentator. Mm -hmm. They need a commentator. Some guy, some Smash player jumped in and sat next to Alex Vi mm -hmm. and had no idea who he was. <laughs> Okay. One of the biggest names in Street Fighter, one of the biggest names in fighting games, he had no idea who this guy was. And so to me, that's, that, it's, it, to me that says that Smash is a very insular community. It is an insular that community. That doesn't branch out as much as other fighting game players do. Agree. Why does that not make it part of the fighting game community? Because it, they, they, don't, so they don't participate in the overarching community. So if there was a fighting game that didn't participate in, say, for example, there's SmashCon. Okay, right? SmashCon. Street Fighter doesn't donate money to SmashCon, so SmashCon can happen. Sure. But when Evo happens, e the Smash players invest money so that Evo can take place. They, like the drive to get Evo back in in 2014 for the Melee. They, sure. They were competing against Skullgirls. or yeah, with, Skullgirls, with Skullgirls. And they raised $100,000 so that Evo could take place. Because well, they, they raised that, that money so Smash could be at Evo. Yeah, but they, they were raising money to bring up the name of what Evo is. Like, Evo is such a big tournament that you have to raise $100,000 just to even be elected into sure. the game. Like, this is a big deal. Like They are helping rise... As Smash rises, I feel like other games rise as well because people who like... I shouldn't be debating you on this one. I mean, we're doing Street Pistol I'm already personally charged on this. But don't right. you think, like, um, the better more people are aware of Smash, the more they will also be like, oh, and there's some other games here so, too. So it is funny, like, usually when I say Smash, or usually when I bring up fighting games, Smash often is the first thing people think of. <laughs> Tekken. Uh, uh, well, that is that is often the first thing people think of, and I won't deny that. You're that, not saying Smash is a music game. You're just saying no, I'm not. I'm not saying Smash isn't a fighting game. Yeah. I just don't think it's part of the real broader fighting game community. There's a hardcore aspect to the fighting game community. Yeah. Yes. They're very much. It, it's so the fighting game community, as and this is this is a negative aspect of it. It's a very very insular community. As sure. it, they don't like outsiders. Yeah. It's hard to get into it. Mm. Uh, it and that stems back from that sense. That's. You're heading out? Even even newer players that are big and good, mm -hmm. like Infiltration, has only been playing Street Fighter for like six years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time still, but yeah, yeah. But compared to like Alex Vi, who's sure. been doing it for like twenty years. Sure, but like you compare that to Mangu, who's been playing for like 20, 19 years now. Yeah, and it's like they don't even care for for new players who have grown up with the online generation. Sure. Uh, can, because I throw that, uh, can I throw this out at you? Sure. 
if another version of Street Fighter came out, Infiltrator will probably be very good at that game. He'll play sure. that game. If Daigo will play Street Fighter Six. Yeah. Mango Hungry Box will continue to play melee until melee's done. They are melee players. Yeah, there there is that weird th- that yeah, there is that weird thing that they always play melee. They like a game. But there are but there are players that uh there's a, even at Evil, there's always side tournaments. Like Daigo is at the Street Fighter 2 oh, side tournament. There are third strike tournaments still. Like mainstream third strike tournaments still. They are not a big part of the fighting game community. No. But they're still a part of it. Don't because because the new uh, even They're not a big part, but you would still agree they're a part I think of it. yeah, they're a big part. They're, a, they're definitely a part of it. I they're think, a very small part I of it. I think the, the reason game. Melee caught on and it stayed latched on it's very is because Brawl was very not conducive to a competitive environment. I'm totally with you. But overall, not a big part of the fighting game community, but still a part of the fighting game community. Would you agree? Maybe a small part. It, it's 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 it's, it's, it's just, undeniable. I mean, it's an it, Evo every year. So just to revisit but, back at the start sure. of the conversation, you said it's not Smash is I'm on capital letters. Smash is not a part of the fighting game community. If we agree that it's a small part, how do you feel about revisiting the original play? Well. If we agree that it's a small part of the fighting game community, would you still say it's not part of the fighting game community? Perhaps not. Uh, but I still think there is a lot about Smash that is very, <laughs> very different from the rest of the fighting game community. Can I, are you guys together? Yes. yes. Can I interview you? Sure. I've never done this before. I think I'll have better luck disagreeing with you on something I'm sure than this fun. guy who I feel is just my brother. I can't believe we immediately got into the fighting games together. I wasn't I expected to sit down with someone who knew who knew fighting games. Yeah, I do. I, I really love fighting games. Dude. I love Melee and it breaks my heart that What about Mortal, Mortal Kombat 11? Are you I love that? Mortal Kombat 11. You know Ronda Rousey voices? Yeah, she voices uh, Tony Blade. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, they just announced this they just announced this yesterday. We're going to talk about this real quick. <laughs> Real quick, they just announced this yesterday. I don't know if you caught it, but the uh, the guy who played uh, Sing yes, Sung in I know the first that. movie, yeah, he's, gonna he's playing Sing Sung in, in Mortal Kombat 11. They even changed his face a little bit to yeah. make him look the same. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. It's so really cool. I can't wait. I can't wait. I- I'm gonna be in the beta next week. What? Yeah. How'd you get in the beta? All you have to do is pre-order the game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they had the stress test last week, and I got into that luckily. But all you have to do to get in the beta is uh, clear up game, get a code, oh, jam all that shit. Okay. There'll be five characters in the beta. Okay, cool. Yeah. Have you? Did I you couldn't see, get into ultimate. Did you see it? I tried getting into all the games. So. <laughs> yeah. It's, For me, I'm one of the people. I'm unfortunately one of the. If it's not, if it doesn't host Bailey, I don't want to watch it. Like that's kind of my thing. Okay. And then I'll watch Street Fighter just out of tradition. Just out of like yeah, like, Street Fighter. Watches, yeah. And if it's Sonic Fox playing Injustice, I'll I'll watch that match because I know Sonic Fox. So I'm following the characters and I'm looking for the storylines more than just the game itself. Oh come on. For me it's all it's all about the game. I'm trying to think of something on this one. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about more fight about I, I, I would like to learn a little bit about to ask you questions. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, I've go never, ahead. I've never done this before. Like, like, it's like game attack or something. We can, we can duke it out online. Okay, definitely, yeah. Um, where's my, uh... What console you roll on? The console. Uh, <laughs> you a PC he's gamer? He's a PC gamer. <laughs> Are you a PC guy? Yes. I don't have any fighting game on PC. They oh, have every funny. fighting game on PC. I know, it's just I don't have a PC good enough to run it. Oh. Well, I mean, there's cross-play. Huh? There's cross-play.